Coming up, an Atomica Thomas and Friends animation compilation. All aboard for a big <coughs> <coughs> uh, I think I just swallowed a fly. Enjoy the video, kids. How could I forget, what with all the less than subtle foreshadowing from earlier? Aren't we made of plastic, though? It's okay, James. We're gonna couple up behind you to slow you down, like I did in that movie that one time. Right on, Mr. Washington. <laughs> hurry, Thomas! Hurry, hurry, hurry! <laughs> Ooh, how convenient. Couple me up! I need to slow James down! Uh, right. Oh no! Try again! Try again! Right. Keep on trying! We can do it! We mustn't give up! We have to try! Yes, I know! I know! I'm trying! <laughs> what the? Where did that come from? Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait a minute. You don't even have a front coupling. <gasps> yeah, I forgot about that cheap merchandising. I'm coming off the rail! James! I can't move my arms and legs! I can't move my arms and legs! Oh wait, I can't move them normally. Never mind. Hmm, I'm suddenly a whole lot less interested in this now that there's a huge mess to clean up. You're kidding me, right? Ugh, fine. Stay right here, James. I'll go and get help. Oh, no. And I was thinking of going for a leisurely puff down the line instead. Do you want me to help you or not? Ugh. I'll get you, Burnett Stone! No, you won't, because the magic you refuse to believe in will get the better of you. Wait, I thought he did believe in the magic. That's why he wants to destroy Lady? None of the dialogue in this film makes sense! You can run, but you can't hide! Right, Pitchy? <laughs> Pitchy's hungry! <laughs> I've got you now! <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! It tickles! <laughs> Ow! Okay, okay! Come on, lady. Coming, puffball! 
Look out! Here I come! Hey, look! I was supposed to be in the movie! Oh! I like my lunch steamed. <laughs> Are you trying to take me down with bad puns now? Ah, pretty fast for a puffball. Well, lady, this is your shining time, too. I hope so. What's a shining time? Sorry, I haven't seen the American version of the show. Done. Ugh, am I really that heavy? Ah, oh, what's going on? Oh, hold it! I wasn't even on this track! Ah! Oh, wait, how did I get back up here? Huh? Puffball? Teapot? Long live the king. Oh. Tin kettle! Ow! Uh, man, that scene was poorly executed. Oh. Wait, so why was the fire duct crumbling in the first place? It's best if you don't think about it. One day, Henry was pulling a very important goods train on his way to the mainland. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't believe I'm finally getting a special of my own. That's it. All according to plan. Oh, that's the signal. Well, hello there, Percy. What brings you to the far side of the island? I guess I'll have to take that very important goods train to the mainland now. It's kind of you to offer, Thomas, but you have to work on your branch line. James will deliver the special goods train to the mainland. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> yes, finally a special all about me. Ah! Silly Henry. Silly James. Silly everyone. This is my show and I'll star in all the specials. I regret everything. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Title character immunity on! No! So even though he wasn't fully repaired, Thomas was sent to take Gordon the part he needed. He raced right down the main line 
to get to the bridge. But then there was trouble. <gasps> oh no! I've got to get across! I can't stop now! Ow! Ugh, gosh darn it. It was this year, and Thomas was going on an adventure. It's going to be the most thrilling ride of my life. At least until next year's special. But then there was trouble. Oh no! It's an overturned standard gauge narrow gauge truck. I have to stop. Are you okay? All I can see is another truck's backside. <laughs> Yay, potty humor! Oh dear. However will I get to my final destination with this truck in my way? Hmm... <gasps> I've got it! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Chuggington fans, eat your hearts out. Soon Thomas arrived at his mainland destination. Thanks, narrator. I'm guessing we won't be hearing from you again until the end of the special, if at all. Well, hello there! I'm Bertie Barris, Office Office Ford. I'm an experimental engine. I'm powered by the centripetal force of the Reverend Audrey spinning in his grave. Well, I think that's enough adventuring for one day. Thomas was happily traveling across the American state of Arizona. I have no idea how I got here. He was traveling very quickly. A bit too quickly. Oh look, there's an unrealistically sharp bend up ahead. What could possibly go- Oh my goodness! That's over. Oh, for goodness sake. No! So, Thomas, how was your trip to America? I don't want to talk about it. Express coming through! Ha ha ha! I am the fastest. Unless, of course, you count Spencer. And Connor. And Caitlin. But they weren't even in the Railway series, so nobody does!
Whoa, Gordon. Looks like there's something on the line up ahead. Huh? Huh. It's only a pony. Shoo! Shoo! Hmm? Uh, hello? Rainbow's friendship sparkles! Oh! <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh! Get it! Get it! What on Sodor even was that? <laughs> hmm? Hey, Gordon, have you seen my little- Oh my gosh! It's okay, little pony. Don't worry, Percy's got you. We're gonna get you to the vet, and then you'll be right as Rainbow Dash. <laughs> oh. Really there. Just hold on a little while. Oh no! I'm out of water. Oh, pony. I failed you! <laughs> what are you blubbering about? Oh, Thomas! Thank goodness you're here! On the main line. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing out here either. <clears throat> I mean, I'm pulling the local. Yes, that's it. Uh -huh. Please, Thomas! You have to help me! It's my pony! Gordon accidentally hit her and I was trying to take her to the vet, but I've run out of water! An injured pony, huh? Alright, let's see the damage. Ah, what kind of pony even is that? It's my little pony! Please, Thomas, you have to help her! Uh, sure. Why not? I'm sure my passengers won't mind if I strand them in the middle of nowhere for an indeterminate amount of time. Don't come back! Oh, Thomas! There you are! I've been looking everywhere for you! What for? My pony! What happened to her? Oh, that... Yeah, she didn't make it. What? Sorry, buddy. There was nothing the vet could do. Oh, I see. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> 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 uh. Yeah, you'll get over it. I can't believe you forgot about us and your passengers. Yeah? Well, I'm here now, so what difference does it make? It makes a big difference. The fat controller will not be pleased. What's he gonna do? I'm the title. Thomas! Thomas! Ugh, what now? Thomas! You have to come with me right away! What? Why? It's Percy! He's very upset about the passing of his beloved pony. Still? He said he's going to leave Soto forever! Leave Soto forever? But then who will I torment on a daily basis? And who will I? Never mind that right now. Let's go! Ah, what a 
wonderful day it is to be CGI. I never looked this clean and shiny when I was a dirty old plastic toy. Yep, this is the life. Hey, watch my paint work! Wait, do I even have paint? What am I even made of now? Oh, would you look at that? Diesel D199 actually made some changes for the compilation. I guess this isn't just an effortless view grab after all. Thomas, wake up! Ah, I didn't do it. Didn't do what? Uh, nothing. Oh, well, I came to tell you, Sir Topham Hat has been mur- Wait, Percy, don't say it. Don't say what? The M-word. This is a family-friendly show now, remember? You can't talk about such intense subjects so explicitly. Oh, right. Well, I came to tell you that Sir Topham Hat has been... Has been... Uh, I don't know. I miss the days when we could just say whatever we wanted. Yeah, those were the days. Diesel D199 is such a sellout. I can hear you, you know. Oh, so you are still here. I've barely heard you speak since the switch to CGI. Yeah, well, one of the benefits of CGI is the ability to tell a story more visually instead of through narration. Story? What story? All we've seen so far is a couple of parodies, some MLP bashing, and a few one punchline videos. Don't forget the 360 degree videos. Those were kind of cool, am I right? Sure, but even still, the CGI videos, they just don't have the charm of the toy ones. Ugh, just don't. You know I hate it when people use the word charm to justify their otherwise irrational preference for an inferior medium. But it's true, the toys had charm, just accept it. No, charm. Stop it. Charm. Don't test me. Charm. Enough! Charm. That's it. Oh my gosh! You... you... well you... Oh gosh diddly doodly dang it. Aha! I knew you'd try something like that. That wasn't the real me. It was just a clone. What? Now. I think it's time that you step down from your position as director of this show. Lady, would you do the honors? With pleasure. I don't remember modeling her face. One of those capsule Thomas minifigs. I can't even move my arms and legs now. This is what I get for cheaping out on the human animation. <clears throat> huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the compilation! And don't forget to subscribe! I still want that gold play button! Ah! The next part of our animation compilation contains all of our Halloween specials, so you might not want to watch it right before bedtime. Enjoy! It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor, and Thomas the tank engine was pulling some troublesome trucks.
Thomas, what are you doing here? And why did you come in so fast? I've brought Edward's trucks for him, sir. They were pushing me. You've a lot to learn about trucks, little Thomas. Oh gosh, he's talking to the trains again. Honestly, we should be the ones giving orders around here, not this crazy person. Silly engine! What if you'd been pulling a passenger train? What exactly are we doing here, James? I told you! I've invited you two here tonight on Halloween so we could pay tribute to the ghost engine of Sodor. Uh huh. The ghost engine? Have you two never heard of the tragic tale of Timothy? Ugh, no. But I have a terrible feeling that I'm going to. Well, then you're in for a treat. A long, long time ago... Spare me the history lesson. Fine, but make it quick. A long, long time ago, on Halloween night, Back when the Northwestern Western Railway, Railway was, still was still in its, its earliest days, a little engine named Timothy was pulling a passenger train. The late night special ran from Knapford through to Marin, where the line terminated as the viaduct was still under construction. Timothy was a kind little engine of the E2 class, like Thomas in fact. I guess that means he was a pretty good looking engine. Ugh, sorry. Timothy was of the E2 class like Thomas, although he was an older design without the extended side tanks. He had silver paint that shone in the moonlight and the number zero on his side. The trip was going well and Timothy was making good time as he pulled into Wellsworth Station. But as you and I know, Strange things can happen on Halloween. All right, Timothy, off we go. Timothy? Sure thing. Timothy continued to run smoothly for a time, but as they approached the final station, it happened. Neither the driver nor fireman could shut off steam and apply the brakes. Instead, Timothy started to go faster and faster. The station master tried to flag him down, Hold but up, Timothy stop, raced right stop. through the narrow station and into the distance, towards the unfinished viaduct. And the cash! Stop! Timothy! You'll doom us all! But Timothy didn't stop, and he didn't reply. He just kept going, faster and faster. The driver and fireman desperately fiddled with the controls, but they wouldn't budge. The guard tried to apply the brakes, but they wouldn't work either.
my face. My horrible, scary face. Oh. The next morning, they hauled Timothy out of the ravine. The fat controller came to see him. He was most annoyed. Really useful engines don't try to harm their passengers and crew. I know, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Yes, well, let's get you fixed up. We need you back to work at once. Really? No, of course not, you maniac. We only hold you out for the scrap metal. Wait, what? Hey, this guy looks just like me. Well, that story was dumb. That's only because James didn't tell it right. My driver told me the real story, but that'll have to wait for another Halloween. See anywhere? I can't seem to find. Hey, my costume. Well, hello there, sunshine. <laughs> Haha! <laughs> Finally, I'm going to see the world. Later, losers. an ordry? I don't feel so good. Well, you know, Thomas, engines don't have faces unless they're on soda. We don't? But what about in the fact we call those engines when we... Oh, oh silly little engine. Let's get you back home. Oh, back so soon? So, what did you see on your big world adventure, Thomas? Nothing. There's just nothing. Oh, not to worry, children. He'll be all right. Eventually. I don't know what eventually means, but it sounds very, very long. Don't quote that rubbish at me. Hello, Thomas. I've been expecting you. 
Oh, my lady. Cheap merchandising. Wow, you made it all the way to the end of the video. Write the word pancakes in the comments so I know that you're a real fan of Tomica Thomas and Friends. If you want to keep watching our show, click the video on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.